this event is very prophetic because every single week since the countdown began on March the 7th, the UN has stated or its affiliates have stated there's seven years to go. That's a, that's a major declaration they've said for the last 13 or 14 weeks. And we have seven years left and we have we have to uh, strengthen the Paris Climate Agreement. So that's all, that's what it's all centered around is the Paris Climate Agreement. And then you'll see the SDGs attack, at, attached to that, the Sustainable Development Goals. So there's 17 goals. The first goal is no poverty, but it, it really is welfare dependence. So every so those who are rich have to give to the poor. And we see this with the, with the loss and damage fund that uh, the rich nations have to pay for the poor nations when they have a big storm event or a big, big tsunami. It's the, it's, the, it's the big nations that are at fault. So it, they're, they're saying that climate change is the result of man's of man's uh, d- doings, not 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 God. Right, right. And they're saying it's that because we're using all this technology and those poor nations are not. And so we're the ones causing the problem. For yeah, them. we're the ones causing the problem. So it'd be welfare dependence. The second one, zero hunger. And that and that's and, and with that, they're going to change your, your food to GMO and uh, and in, in, in different in other different forms of, of food. The third one is good health and well-being. That's you know what. And that's that's coming with the mark, the mark the mark of the beast. The fourth one is the is quality education, and so the, 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 the there's 169 targets to this these 17 goals. But the number one most important target to them is your children, and they want to re-educate all, all the children all all your children. So you you believe their agenda, and you don't believe the agenda of your parents. And it, it's taken them basically two generations to uh, to change the thought process of your children. Yeah, now that reminds me because I remember years ago, Hillary Clinton saying that what she wa- a change that she wanted to make was that children would be in school more hours during the day. I remember this so well, that there would not be a summer vacation, but that they would be in school, you know, all, the whole year, every, you know, and as many hours. So this way, um, the parents would have little influence over them. I just, oh, that was, it sounded very scary. And then the fifth one is gender equality, equality, and that destroys the family. And we're seeing that big push for that in the month of June. You'll see a big push for that at your local PetSmart also, where they're pushing the, their, their agenda. And uh, number six is clean water and sanitation, but that's really a water rationing. So you're only going to allow, be allowed so much water to use per household and in even locally we have, i already see this taking place where they you can only water your lawn on so uh, if it, in certain neighborhoods monday wednesday friday and other neighborhoods tuesday thursday saturday so we're already seeing the water rationing right I, i've seen that for a while so they're going to limit our showers once a week <laughs> yeah your showers limited to a certain amount of times or they're going to cut your water water off that, that's where it's going to boil down to then the seventh one is uh, affordable and clean energy, which is really a smart grid surveillance. And we and we already I can see locally. I can give another example: the, the surveillance, how the surveillance is already here. You just drive down the road, and there's camera every stop sign. There's a or stoplight. There's a camera, and at your mountain passes, you got cameras everywhere. So they're surveilling everything or wherever you're moving is already being surveilled. Plus your iPhone. For example, it tracks every movement you make and it will tell you where you need to go next is and it's only five minutes away or whatever. So so we're, that, that tracking is we're already seeing that tracking take place today. Right. And they're already surveilling what we're saying, because the moment I say something, I get a, a, a commercial to buy that thing that I was talking about. <laughs> yep. Actually, I I went to the local Polaris company a couple of years ago looking for a blue Polaris four by four and then up on my up on my Facebook page, there was a set, there was an advertisement for a blue Polaris. Okay, so, okay, wait, what is that? <laughs> Polaris is a four wheeler. Oh, oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I should know that. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't drive them. But so. anyway, it had the color blue. It was like I can't believe this. They're listening to my conversation. You should have said polka dotted and see what <laughs> would have happened. Um, okay, so what's the next point? Decent work and economic growth. And then, and that's no property rights, and so and so and so what what's going to happen is we're going to see what happened with Egypt, 
during the their, the seven year uh, um, it was a, a plague in Egypt during Joseph's time, where where the the government owned all the property at the end of the seven years, and so we're going to see that in play again in the, within the next seven years. Oh, oh my goodness! Okay, and the next point. And a lot of that's expropriate. It's called expropriation. So if you don't fix up your house, the government's going to take your house, and you have, you're forced out and have to move into the city housing. So we're we're already seeing that, especially in Germany. There, there's there's already a, they're they're already showing the pathway for that. The ninth one is is uh, industry innovation and infrastructure, and that's basically slave labor. So you're only allowed to. For example, work cert certain certain a certain amount of hours. We're already seeing that in the farm industry. So the farm industry, for example, they used you used to be able to work eighty hours or ninety hours, and to and as of next year, they they cannot pass forty hours a week for any employee. And there's and as of right now, there's overtime at after 40, 48 hours. So the farmers have to cut cut off all their workers at forty eight hours because they can't afford the overtime. And we, we see that in like Florida as well, where there, well, there, are, there is nobody to harvest the crops. And so they just have to let the, like the tomatoes and oranges, they just can't harvest the crops because the, the, the work that they've forced the, those who, who used to harvest out to, to other areas. Right. So. It's interesting because they've done that in all different ways because, you know, you, you can't even find workers at just even restaurants now, but. Yeah. And then, the, and then they have a reason not to, not to show up to work every single day. <laughs> right, because they're getting free money. And then the, the tenth tenth one is is reduce inequalities, but that, actually that is to make everybody the same. So it's global communism. So everybody is making the same amount of money, and we already see that here here where where I live, where the minimum wage is is so high that everybody's paying minimum is just paying minimum wage or just slightly above minimum wage because the minimum wage that 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 wage bracket is 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 so high. So no matter what job you take, it's there's not that much difference in, in wages anymore. H two A workers, they make they're they're nearly twenty dollars an hour for for their pay, and and they're they're coming in from Mexico. It's basically your slave labor, modern day slave labor. So they they sign up to work for like three months or six months. And they're stuck in 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 in, a, in, in housing, and uh, but they're making twenty twenty dollars, uh, almost twenty dollars an hour, and don't have to pay taxes. Yeah, so, which yeah, I... H two A workers, H two B workers. So it apply, it apply to both. Okay, and then um, what was the next one? The next one is sustainable cities and communities, and that's your your fifteen minute cities. For example, so you can't leave your house or go more than 15 minutes. There'd be no more flights. You can't fly anywhere. And and, and these mandates will begin some, sometime in late 2023. These mandates will, will begin to come in. So wait, what does that mean? I can't go beyond 15 minutes away from my home? Yes, yeah, so you can't go with if you live out in the middle of nowhere in a farm. You're in trouble, I guess. But yeah, you can't go within 15 minutes of your home. So you'll be everything's tracked. And then you're, I, I don't know how that's going to take place, but they're they're working on it. And the C the C forty cities, those the ninety six cities following the Terra Carta are already making plans to implement that. So it, it's you're basically in, in a prison for for the next seven years to save the climate. Next one is responsible consumption and production. That that is one world currency. Ah, uh, okay. And so we're we're seeing that that already taking place through dig digital with digital currencies and digital ID. And the push for digital ID is for the remaining 1 billion people in on the world in, on the world that do not have any digital ID. So they have to be able to prove who they are. Eventually they'll come with a mark as well. So the, Right, which so is prophesied again, uh, you know, because um, I have some people who are watching this who are not believers in Jesus. So the mark of the beast, it said you would not be able to buy or sell unless you have this mark in your forehead or in your hand. Yeah, and the word for that is actually is on or in, but it's 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 in, it's inside your hand. It would go right here or or right here. 
And that's because that's your the highest amount of heat. So they you take for a lit, I believe it's a lithium type battery to keep it heated. Oh, interesting. But I always found that amazing that it actually said it, that it meant in. I mean, how yeah, could they know two thousand words in? Yeah, how could they know two thousand years ago? How could John, who wrote the Book of Revelation, under the Lord telling him what to say, how would he possibly have known except that it was? It's Bible prophecy. It's God telling him that we would have something in. How could they have technology in? in? I, I sat. I was one of sixteen people in the world that sat on it on the ID twenty twenty um, alliance um, update. I believe it was back in twenty twenty one with the CEO of, of ID twenty twenty, talking about how how to mark people in 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 the future to prove their status of of you know what, and, and, and to prove, and, and to prove their health, their, their health status. And, and this mark, this certificate, this certification mark is to declare I am. So it declares you, it, it proves who you are and, pr- 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 and, and proves your, your status, uh, your health status. Wow. How did you that, get- that you're safe, that you're safe to work around. Oh, I got I, I just got lucky and, and on, on the draw on that one, I was able to sit in on the conversation with, with just a few other people. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so my eyes got really big and it's like, my goodness, they're talking about the mark. <laughs> Climate action, that's the all seeing eye. Oh, right. That was number 13, energy, right. And that's energy rationing. So you're going to be, ra- you only allowed a certain amount of energy to heat your home or drive your car or, or what it, whatever it's going to be. Those, those mandates haven't been issued, so I, we can only assume a lot of what it will, will be at this time. And then life below water is the 14th point, and that controls wildlife in, in, in the seas. It's going to control your fit, fishing industries pretty much. Hmm. And we're already seeing a, a little bit of a push on that too, especially in like Alaska. So last year, certain certain pro, certain uh What's the word? Well, certain wildlife couldn't be harvested last year because of reasons X, Y, Z. So that's be one one example. The then life on land is is the other one, and that'd be number fifteen, and uh, that c- controls your resources. So you're you're only you're not going to be able to go camping per se because that that's off limits because of I'll just say how it used to be Agenda Twenty One, which is now Agenda Twenty Thirty. So th- th- these c- certain lands are are off limits. And then the, the 16th one is, is peace, justice, and strong institutions. But in reality, Klaus Schwab has said that he wants to bring about wars to bring about peace. And so there's going to be perpetual war in the next seven years to bring about the, their, their, their plan of global peace. Wow. Which is like Matthew 24 talking about. Yeah, it's Matthew 24. In fact, you read some of this, what they're putting on with with sustainable development. And it's like they're reading Matthew 24 themselves. It's like these people haven't read the Bible, but they're quoting Matthew 24. (laughs) Right. And for those who don't know that Matthew 24 talks about, um, there'll be wars and rumors of wars. And famines and pestilences and, and and the UN's mentioning all these as of right now. Right. Which is a sign of the second coming of Jesus. Yep. Uh, and then the and then the last one is partnerships for the goals, and that's one world government, which we see happening right now. All these partnerships coming in. The biggest partnership and biggest alliance in the world of CEOs is is the Sustainable Markets Initiative led by King Charles. What you just watched was only a piece of the shocking information that Craig Bong uncovered. Watch the full video here. <laughs> 